Hello everyone, today I am going to present you a new tool Node.js API with React.js App Generator. Do subscribe to the channel to get the latest update. Let's start with the demo. So this is the folder you will get. I have included a sample database, sample code generator and some instruction links. And then I have included a generator tool which is our main focus. I will start the tool by double clicking the exe file. To generate the code it will ask you your MySQL database connection details like host name, port number, DB name, username and password. I have a sample database running on my local host. So it's my eSOP which is a sample database I have downloaded from internet. So it has some different tables, different columns are there, different data types are there, some relationship foreign keys are there. So let's see how we can generate a complete React.js app with Node.js API from this database. So I'll insert my database name here, check the test connection. If the connection is successful, you will see a message box here. Code will be generated in the same folder where the tool is present. So I'll just make it in that same folder in the video. Before clicking on generate button, I'll change the project name as eSOP app and click on the generate button. Automator tool will perform a smart analysis of your database and generate the code required for each table. It will take less than a minute for your code to be ready. You can see that tool have gone through each and every table of yours and then generated a Node.js API and also generated a React.js app. You can see in eSOP app folder is generated in the background and it have Node.js API and React.js app folder. So in Node.js API you will get Postman API generated where you can test the API and then app folder is also generated server.js is there. In React.js app you will have all your SRC components like auth, API, repos. So let's test the Node.js API first and then we will come back to the React.js app. I have used Visual Studio Code for my development purpose. So I am opening Node.js API folder into Visual Studio Code. You can explore the code generated. So routes are there, models are there, con controllers are there. So you can make any changes as required. It's all your code. So to test this code, I will start a new terminal. We need to first resolve all the dependency of npm. So I'll do a npm i to install all the dependency. I will just fast forward the npm installation video. You can see that all npm dependencies are installed from the package json file and package json log file is created. Node modules are all imported. To start the API we have to do npm start and then it will start at some specified port. Here I am using 8400. So to test this API I will use postman. Let's start with that. I will start the Postman app as it's already installed in my system. Automator tool have already generated a Postman import file which you can directly import to Postman. So I will do that. So once you import the Postman file from the generated folder, you will have two files, one is postman collection, another will be environment variable. You can see that eSOP app collection is created and inside that you will have all the endpoints required for that like token generation, add, edit, update of all the tables. Before testing any endpoint, we have to specify our base URL of the API which I have defined it in the environment variable. So if I click on the environment variable setting, 
my API is running on 8400 port. So localhost 8400 will be become my dev server URL. So I'll select the environment variable from the dropdown and see if you notice that this variable is turned to orange and it have some value. Next step is to test for the token generation. So these are the information I am passing for generating a token. We have got the expiry and access token of that. Without doing any coding, we got the token generation working. We can test other tables also. Like we, I will take example of city table. So city endpoint I have created get all. Get all is working. There is pagination for get all and search record. So you have four record here. So I'll change the page size to two and page number is one and send the request. Then only first two records should be fetched. Then I can change the page number to two and then try to send the request again. So then it should get me a different record. Let's see that. So if you notice the new records have fetched from the database. We can check the get by ID quickly. So we know the city ID and we'll put that and send the request. And you can see particular record is coming without any coding. We have not yet coded anything. Similarly for search, we have a search key in the parameter. Just replace the search key with some value and you will get the search result. Similarly, we have add endpoint. So it is a post request. We will have a body in this. And here we need to pass these three parameters. This is automatically generated. So I am passing some test sample data, city name. Then created by is a foreign key. So I have to pass a particular ID. And see this record is created and the document ID, the record ID will be re reverted back to you for any other processing. We can always verify if the record is created or not by using get by ID endpoint. So I'll just put that ID into that and then see if the record is coming or not. Similarly, we can do a update request. So I'm just trying to update the same record what we have created right now. I'll just put some values for update. And we can see that update is also working. Now just quickly verify that with that same ID, if it is updated or not. And you can see that updated value here. We can also check the database if the value is inserted or updated or not. So you can see that the value is there in the database. Now let's test the delete record functionality. So I'll just put the same ID there and click on send request and if you see that the delete is successful just checking in the database if that is deleted or not so just reload the table and see that record is gone similarly just to test with postman we can call get by id with the same id and you can see that no records found so this is the delete operation you can test other endpoint also and then see that all the endpoints it's working and the most beautiful thing is that you have this collection automatically generated which will help you to do the testing very quickly like you deploy the code and then you can start doing the testing so this was automatically generated node.js rest api now let's see if our react.js app is working or not so i will open the react.js app in visual studio code and then we, we can see what all codes are generated into that. So this is my react.js app folder. So I'll just select that folder. And you can see that these are all the files we have got generated. Like src, api, auth, repo is there. All the tables are there. Components, all the tables are there. So this is all segregated. We have a template folder where you can modify your menu items, loading image or any other thing you want to do. 
to deploy this react js app we need to first do npm install so i will just start that command you can see that all node modules are installed with the npm install command and the node modules folder is created there so i can do is i can start the react js app using npm start but before that we need to change our api base url which is defined in api access file so let's change that with our localhost 8400 then we can do npm start in the terminal and let react js app to a start server is started at 3000 port number so we can test our react js here so we have a sign in page first which is auto generated with material ui then you will have a dashboard which you can customize according to your need for currently i have put the link of all the tables and the menu items where you can customize that again according to your need but for now it's all temp tables of all the link of the tables so you can see that account data is there city we are concentrated for testing purpose so we'll we'll see, take the city table and see what we can do so you can see that search is working for city data and loading is also working cleaning the search is working then we will try to add a new city so just for a sample i'll just put a sample text nissan test 2 and then you will see that this drop down is a foreign key to that system admin table so that is also working a new city is added here and we can try to edit that city so i'll just put it updated and click on save and you can see that that record is updated successfully so without writing any code you got this thing. let's try delete operation so you will have a confirmation there and then delete is also working so without writing any line of code you have all the tables admin panel generated you can see the data you can have a pagination there you can have a sign in page sign up page is there so that these are the templates you may have to customize little more but pretty everything of react js framework is ready with you so let's test if we can customize this to a mobile friendly application or not so if it is responsive or not so if you see i am using chrome for testing that responsiveness and i am using iphone x has a template here so you, it's working without writing any single line of code material ui is responsive always so we ipad also it will look like this so i can go to any table and then i can see that how it will look so see this is scrolling responsiveness is there add form is responsive so it change the layout according to your screen sign up page is responsive sign in page is responsive so pre pretty everything is responsive you can see the dashboard is also responsive so this is the tool i wanted to present it to you please support me with your like share and subscribe thanks thanks for watching the video